Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. Oh, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And... I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. There's the whistle. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? I'd say Petr Cech. I'm trying to come up with a, a flaw in his game and I can't. Dependable and strong in, in every aspect of a goalkeeper's job. And he breeds confidence for his defence. It's Luis Suarez! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Forward it goes. And it's Dembele. Dembele! Dembele! It's broken loose. Luis Suarez. And the ball's come out. Referee has just said play on. Lukatari. Ramsey pushes it out wide. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. It's a Babian. Now a chance to break. Well, that looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. Now it's Ramsey. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Luis Suarez. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Philippe Coutinho. 
Mkhitaryan. Aimed long and direct. He's through, it's one-on-one, -on -one. going for goal! Coutinho plays it forward. Now it's Aubameyang. That's a brilliant interception. Messi. And the whistle goes for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And we are already promptly back on the way. Barcelona clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Messi. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Hector Bellerin. And it's Ozil. And the weighted pass. Obama Yang really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Messi. And it's corner. <laughs> Arsenal can make their change now with uh, a break in play. He's gone for it! Interference and very necessary. Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and, and just get something in the way. Swept in. Sergio Busquets. And that's been one straight back. Mustafi goes looking. Well back. And well back! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well back. Really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. He's got away. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Well, they're looking at the referee, but he's waved play on. Dashing forward at pace. Aubameyang gets it back. And it's Mkhitaryan. This is promising. It's one! They are right into last chance territory. Oh, it's Mkhitaryan. Aubameyang hits it! He's got away with one there. Well, one sloppy luck. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been... Vibrant. I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant and we just need the scoreline to, to step into line. So a brief breather and then extra time. Well, we are already up and running again. It's got through. He has it out wide now. He's come loose. He'll have a dip! He's done very well to get to that. Aubameyang simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. They've played it short. Nick Steiner with the cross. Well read, he sorted that out. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's Kolasinac. Can he finish? That is wayward. Now it's Luis Suarez, and he's made certain that won't get through. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. And the 
We are already back underway. It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes... Up to meet it! Oh, the cross was inch perfect, and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Arsenal break the deadlock. Oh, this is fully deserved for me because they've shown great heart and spirit. It's there to win from here, or dare I say, throw it away now. Welbeck. Roberto has given away a free kick. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Barcelona just looked like a rabbit in the head.